Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is Jesse, and I am back for... I don't know what I want to call this. Um, I guess it could be an iOS accessible app spotlight video. Um, but I'm, I primarily want to concentrate on uh, one thing in particular that I talked about in a recent channel update video. Um, but we are going to take a look at the... I don't know. Shush. We are going to take a look at the Amazon A-Lady app. I'm not going to say her name because she is right behind me and I don't want to trigger her. So I'm going to go in here and so recently updated. So that is the app we're going to look at. And I want to show you one thing in particular that I wish I would have thought of ages ago. Um, but that is kind of helpful. So what I will say, I will give you a brief overview of the app really quick. There's a lot you can do in here. And the cool thing is, even if you don't have the smart speaker, if you don't have a smart speaker, but you have an Amazon account, you can still download this app and use all of her features within this app. Because you can trigger her, you can ask questions just like you would the smart speaker. And do all those sort of things, but you just have to do it with the app. Um, but then you can also configure your speakers and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot you can do. Um, up on the top shortcuts. here, we got some shortcuts. shortcuts. Let's see. Voice responses. Notification settings. Account settings. Device settings. Echo devices. So those are some kind of... I don't really go into those all that much right now. Um, then you have a lot of your like recent... Revenge of the Fur Balkans. Echo devices. Echo devices. Revenge of the Fur Play button. Finish setting up your Xbox. Connect your Xbox to Alexa for hands-free. Okay, yeah. So the book that I want isn't in here. Now, I wish that it had more in there. There's this really bizarre series that I was reading on Audible called 24-7 uh, um, Demon Mart, which is just this bizarre series. And there was a recent book that had come out in there. But... So yes, you can listen to Audible books, but why would you do that when you can just do it through the Audible app? It's perfectly accessible, and it works fine. But what you can also do is you can read Kindle books and have her read Kindle books to you. Uh, and that's mainly what I want to showcase in this video, because as I was saying in a recent channel update video, one of the things that I was, you know, again, I'm super, super glad that VoiceOver reads Kindle books. So does uh, TalkBack, for that matter, on Android. Um, but the, the problem with doing that is, like, if you want to check a notification or do something else where real quick on your phone, you know, it's not a media file. It's, you know, you're not play pausing it. You are, the moment you touch the screen, um, your screen reader stops speaking uh, or reading the book, and you got to go do something else. Or if you want to lock your screen to save battery life. Maybe you want to listen to a Kindle book while you're walking or in transit, but you don't want to bump the screen, and so you got to be really careful or, you know, any number of different reasons. Um, and I'm like, I wish I could have a way to read Kindle books without always having to need voiceover and focus. I was talking to my friend about this. He's like, dude, just uh, try using this app. It's because you can read Kindle books through there. I'm like... That's so simple. I didn't even think of that. And so you can. And so let's just keep going down here. So you've got some quick actions here. Based on, recent app usage. Based on my recent app usage. Okay. Jesse's Echo. Shortcuts. Pick from your recent voice responses. So if I just scroll down, there's tons of stuff here. And you can, you know, you can hide these notifications if you don't want them. Honestly, I don't use this app a ton. Um, but now that I've started reading Kindle books, I use aspects of it. A bit more um, but like I said you can access like skills you can add, you know you can configure smart appliances if you have them that are compatible with the echo any number of different things um, so you can do all that but on the bottom we've got some tabs tab. we've got our home that's the screen we're on communicate, tab. Two of five. communicate. tap to check in on your family without leaving a room try it Tap to start a new conversation. Scarlett Donaldson received. Hand on Chris Wolesky received audio message. Jesse Anderson said. Okay. Scarlett Donaldson received. Hand on Harmony. Andrew Holzhop. At Friday, November. Okay. I have no idea what that Jesse one Anderson is. 
Home. That was Tab. weird, but there's like a, some kind of conversation. I have no idea what that one entry is. Selected. Communic now playing. Tab. Three five. Now, now Music playing. Board. Here's where you want to be. Now, I wish this was a little bit easier to navigate, and I just wish it was a little bit better because um, it's a little strange. It, it's kind of hard. The thing that's sort of hard, unless you have recently used it or bought something, like unless you recently used or bought a book, it's not the easiest thing to try to get her to read something because even if I do it on the speaker, I'll be like, read this book. And then especially if it's in a series or there's a couple books that I've tried to make it read and it just doesn't, doesn't understand what I'm trying to tell it to read. And so I'm just fighting with the speaker trying to get her to read something. But so under, um, what do we call it? Selected. Now playing. Now playing. Three five. On the top Moment. here, underscore current, underscore mood, underscore header. And we got moods. Moment party time. Moment cooking. Moment driving. So those are some music stuff. If you get Amazon Music, you need, you can do that. But recently played. Recently played. So now here's where you get any some like your mixture of could be Kindle books, could be audio uh, audible books, any number of different things. So I'm gonna flick to the right here. Of the furballs, audible. There's and audible. Heist, audible. A book cover, no. Adrian Hell series, volume three, book seven nine, Kindle. A white okay. So let's say that I wanted to read that, but we will do that in a second. So we will do that in a moment. But then. Uh, Hell actually, Adrian Hell series, volume two, books four, six, Kindle. So that one I already read. So there's another Audible book. So like I said, I wouldn't use this for Audible. I would use the Audible app, but you know, if you want to, you could. Um, but I think I think even just navigating the Audible app would be more efficient, probably. Then you have another category. You got Amazon Music, pop culture radio, white text pop culture radio, blue and smooth jazz, white text, country heat and DJ. So you got some radio stuff. Heart radio, local radio. Got our okay. Tune in, local radio. Tune in. Audible library. And all of these are like you know horizontal carousels. You got headings. Actually, let's see if the heading thing works. Music and more heading. Heading not found. Tune in, local radio. Okay, so those are not headings. I wish they see again. If they were designing this really well, those each one of these like tune in radio. I heart. Um, each one of these sections should be headings, and then I could just. You know, go to my Audible, go to my Recent, go to my whatever, and I could just navigate by heading and go through them. That would be really handy. Hint, hint, Amazon. Make it happen. Um, Audible Library. Audible Page Library. Four. Kindle Library. Kindle Library. Now, see all. See all. Let's do that really quick. Kindle Library. And then... Okay, so, oh, I, I somehow I got the Kindle book version of that, too. Sweet. And Alexa accessibility feature. Doom Guy, Life and First Video Game of the Year, A Year by Your Guide to the Best, The Adrian Hell Series, Volume 3, Book 5 Rounds, and Adrian Hell Short, The Adrian Hell Series, Volume 2, Book, The Adrian Hell Series, Volume 1, The Eye of the Bedlam Bride, Dungeon Crawler Carl Book 6, The Eye of the Bedlam Bride, Dungeon Crawler Carl Book 6, Button. Ah, oh, that's going to be fun when that comes out. Um, or, well, actually, I think it is, oh, but I, I really want to hear the audible version of that because. <laughs> The narrator that does the Dungeon Crawler, Carl, if you want a weird but funny series, that's a good one. Uh, a couple friends of mine got me hooked on that early this year. <laughs> and uh, I think it was earlier this year, late last year. And I binged those. And so, yeah, Dungeon Crawler, Carl, uh, those are just some stupid fun. Those are funny. Um, but like I said, I've got all of my Kindle books in here. And the cool thing is, is... It's not just Kindle books that I bought on Kindle. Um, if you do things like Humble Bundle or Story Bundle, or if you import documents or other text files into Kindle uh, through other means, because like I said, I do the Humble Bundle and the Story Bundle a lot, because usually at least maybe two, three times a year, they have these video game book bundles where it's like, oh, um, you know, for like 15 bucks, I get like, 10, 20 books about like certain game franchises or game history or development or just nerdy stuff like that that I want to read. Or sometimes there's ones on like technology related topics, or maybe there's like a sci-fi bundle that you might want. And if you want, you know, if you want to read them in Kindle, you get them and then you, you have to go through this process. They walk you through it on their website. I'm definitely not going to explain that here. Um, but you can you can import them into you can download them as like EPUB or something. But if you want to just dump them right into your Kindle, 
um, you can do that as well, and then they'll appear here. So you can use this um, A Lady app here. You can use her to read all these Kindle books. Now, what I'm trying to see is if there's a Doom Guy, Life and Video Game of the Year, the Adrian Hell series, the Adrian Hell series, the, the, the Game Adventures of the PPA, the Genesis Gaming Disability, Gaming Disability, Button, the Apple 2 Age, the Apple 2 Age, Button. Yeah, so here's a bunch of tech and gaming books. The Eye of the Bedlam Ride, Doomsday Match, Doomsday Match, Button. So, the, on this screen, there's no... Another oversight is there should be a search here, because I literally now have hundreds of Kindle books in my library, and it looks like they're... They're like, I can't even sort them by alphabetical or by recent, but I want to be able to search. Like the, if there's a book that I bought and that I know I want to go back to and read, I'd have to just keep going through this list as like, I don't know if there's another music way board. in another part of the app Blue, where I can just black. search for that book. And, and that's the kind of like, just this app, the, you know, this a lady app, she, she could, the app could just be designed like the UI could be better. Um, it could be easier to find the skill or the book or the feature or the thing that you're looking for. I mean, there's a it, there's a ton here, but it's just not necessarily, especially if you have a huge library of books or or purchase music through Amazon Music. Let's say it's not necessarily the most efficient to it's accessible but it you know there's your accessibility versus usability kind of a thing um it could be better you know i'm glad it's here and i'm glad it works but it could be better Pop culture radio. um text, so tune in local radio Eight. tune in let's see Eight. 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 Kind, and Kind, kindle library kindle library Doom guy life and first apple music button apple podcast button Spotify button, Deezer button, and there's some other services button, Sirius XM button, page four or four at the bottom, and that's your now playing devices tab four or five. Your devices, devices tab four. This is where like I have two Amazon speakers set up in my apartment right now. I have one in my bedroom and one in my living room, and I can I can go into those devices. Um, if you have like a fire TV or anything like that, you can manage those types of things here. Like there's just, I have a lot of different Amazon devices. I'm not going to go into them, um, in this video, but that's where you would go to manage and set up and tweak the different settings. Like if you wanted one to respond to a different word or you wanted to, one to use a specific feature or something like you can set all those different things up. Uh, and all that is accessible. More, tab, more that's where you get your, Selected, like more, your settings tab, and your... Routines. Calendar, listen up, listen up, add a device, add, add a device, device. reminders, alarms and timer, the calendar, routines, skills and games, skills and games, settings, settings. Activity. help and feedback. So this page isn't too bad. So there, there's, there's a lot of, like I said, there's a lot of stuff here. Tap to enable Alexa. Now, it, always in the bottom right corner, right above your tabs, you have the enable her name. And that's where like you can go and then you want to trigger and you want to talk to it. You want to say, you know, do this or play that or you know anything that you would say to a smart speaker you can trigger within the app but let me go back to now I'll playing because play i want to show you the kindle more. thing so i'm going to go to what was my recent so let's go in here and now because i have a few devices available that are turned on everywhere button I don't want it everywhere. <laughs> That'd be funny. Jesse's Echo button. There's my Echo. Jesse's Echo fourth gen button. There's my Echo fourth gen that's in my bedroom. This device button. This device now. Manage your server. Seventeen sixteen PDT. I'm pacing back and forth in the hotel room, tracing the same route past the beds, down the side of each one, and back again. Josh is sitting at the small desk, tapping feverishly away on his laptop. There you go, she's reading the Kindle book. Transports our plane, chapter 21, the Adrian Hell series. Now if I double tap here, it'll bring up the now playing screen. It's right above the tabs. We're working on the assumption that the order can see us and have all their assets following us as best they can. Image. So we drove aimlessly around the city for almost an hour. Image. Now again, they do need to label their buttons. Again, there's some jank, there's some inaccessibility, there's things that they could do to improve accessibility, like adding those headings. And I thought it used, sometimes it says play, I image. thought. Rewind button, image, forward button. So you have, 
rewind, and then in the middle it just says image instead of play pause. Um, but if you find the image in between, you know, rewind, fast forward, obviously that should be play. And the bottom left here, Q you've button. got a Q button. A Q button. That is actually what takes you to your different sections. So if your Audible book is divided into chapter, or your Kindle book is divided into chapters or whatever sections, you can at least go to those. So that'll bring up your table of contents essentially, and you can just jump to your different sections. I don't know if you, I don't, like I said, it's very basic. This device. I don't think it has anything like a sleep timer or anything like that. I mean, it's, it's again, it's a basic cut and dry way to um, read a Kindle book. But like I said, I could hit play pause now and I could lock my screen. I could turn voiceover off and go play threes or balls or any other visual game that I wanted to play that I absentmindedly play when I'm doing, you know, when I'm reading or listening to a podcast. But now the point is I can do that. I can lock my screen to save battery life. Um, yeah, and it's uh, come in very handy because now I can get through my Kindle backlog a bit easier because I don't I don't have to be either a in front of my Kindle or my Echo speakers, or I don't have to have you know voiceover active and my my phone screen on all the time. I can just treat it like any other media. And get through more Kindle books. So I hope they do improve some of the efficiency and layout of, of the app a little bit better. Uh, the a few accessibility tweaks they could make and add and improve. But it is doable. And like I said, I just give a very, very... Because if we were if I was going to show you all of the um, You Know Who app, we'd be here all day. Because again, you know, I've shown you like during the Game Speak playlist, you know, a few games that you can play. But you know what smart, smart speakers do. Pretty much everything you can do there, you can do in here. But now, you know, if I were to go back... 10, 34 p.m. Status, diagram, screenshot, sign. Minimize button. There's my minimize. If I go back to my home screen, home, tab, hopefully... Selected, home, tab, 105. If my app were to misbehave, and, page one, page and I had to close it again... Revenge of the Furballs, continue listening, Boy, Audible. Oh, page 105. Um... The Adrian Hell series, volume... There we go, I refreshed it again. So now, instead of the, that furball book... Now, the last thing that Amazon Services has seen me play is that Adrian Hell series, and I could come back and continue that book from the home screen. So there's a couple ways to get to it, but that is just a very quick and dirty basic overview of the, uh, basically the Echo app. I'm just going to call it the Echo app so I don't trigger her. Um, but it does also a little trick on how to play Kindle books without using voiceover. If you want to lock your screen, save battery, or do something else on your phone, there is a way you can do it, and I feel dumb that I didn't think of it myself and that I didn't think about it way, way sooner than I did. So, or thank you to all, uh, thank you to Chris for that uh, suggestion, because it's come in handy. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, found it helpful. Um, give the video a like if you did. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited illegallycited.com, and right here on YouTube. So until next time, I will chat with everybody again later.